Things are pretty bleak at Nottingham Forest right now, and that's putting it lightly, with the Al Hasawi regime sucking the life out of a once glorious club. But let's put some smiles on Forest fans' faces as we head to the year 2022 and Forest are back in the Premier League. Yep, we're playing Football Manager 2017 and the City Ground is hosting Premier League football for only the third time since 1999, having gained promotion in 2018. Forest were relegated in 2020, but manager Mark Hughes has guided the club back to the top flight and won the championship. The current era of Forest players have moved on. British Samba Longa and Ben Osborne were sold in 2020 following relegation, while youngsters Matty Cash and Ben Brereton have been moved on as well. Most importantly though, the Al Hasawi reign of terror is over, with the club now being run by former Swindon town owner Jed McCroy, who apparently loves the club, despite investing just £3.1 million in the summer transfer window. The first day of the Premier League season saw Mark Hughes' side lose 2-0 the way to Liverpool, but let's look at how Forrest lined up. In goal was Carl Darlow. Yes, the academy graduate is back at the city ground, with Newcastle selling Darlow back to Forrest for £275,000 in 2018 and he's been the number one ever since. At right back we've got Brian Darbo. The Burkina Faso fullback moved to the club for a million quid at the start of the previous season, having been with Southampton in the Premier League after they paid St Etienne £9.5 million for his services. Blackburn fans may remember the name Brian Darbo, as he was there on loan back in 2014 and didn't play a single minute. Our first centre back is Jack Grimmer. The defender is currently on loan at Shrewsbury from Fulham but Forrest spent £6.5 million on Grimmer in 2021 as they looked to return to the Premier League, which they did with ease. The Scot is also used at right back by Mark Hughes, with current Man United youngster Leo Connor slotting in at centre back, but we don't have any pictures of him, so moving on. Also at centre back is Joe Gomez. The ex Charlton defender has been tipped for the top by many and looked promising when he arrived at Liverpool until injury derailed his development. In 2022, though, Gomez is a key player at Forest, and he didn't cost them a penny, signing on a free when his contract at Liverpool expired, following loan spells with Swansea, Burnley and Sunderland. After two years with the club, Gomez is already a fan favourite. Left back is Maxime Punje. The Bordeaux fullback has been linked with multiple Premier League clubs in the past year, with Liverpool, Newcastle and Sunderland all apparently registering an interest in the Frenchman. Despite an impressive year in the Championship, it doesn't look like Punje is cut out for the Premier League. On the right of midfield, it's Alex Pritchard. The most creative player at Mark Hughes' disposal, Pritchard racked up 11 assists as Forrest returned to the Premier League, and he'll need to continue that creativity if Forrest have any chance of remaining in the top flight. Christ, this is looking bleak. Who've we got next? It's the captain, Louis Thompson. No, not the lad from One Direction, that's Louis Tomlinson, who I'm sure will be doing their big comeback tour in 2022, draining the piggy banks of females across the world. Anyway, it's Louis Thompson who wears the armband for Forrest, and he's playing his first season in the Premier League after spending his years fluctuating between the Championship and League One. Something tells me this season isn't going to go well. His partner in the middle is Morocco's Omar El Kadouri. The playmaker will be pulling the strings at the age of 31 and has vital Premier League experience after signing from Everton. Back in reality, El Kadouri is playing for Empoli in Serie A alongside former Middlesbrough striker Massimo Macaroni, who is still going at the age of 37, and Giuseppe Belushi, who is on loan from Leeds and, as we all know, is a disaster. On the left wing for Forrest is Jordan Obita. Yet again another player with no Premier League experience, Obita's love affair with Reading ended in 2019 when he joined Sheffield Wednesday and then moved to Forrest for a cool £1.8 million. Spending not a lot of money on Championship players, it sounds like a recipe for disaster. But disaster is pretty much par for the course anyway at Forest nowadays. Things get better up front as we start with Danny Ings. While injury may have ruined his season this time, he's been banging them in for Forest in the virtual world of football manager. Newcastle spent £15 million on him in 2017, and after 8 Premier League goals in 2 seasons, he joined Nottingham Forest for £13 million. It was a slow start in red for Ings, but he netted 22 times in 41 games as Forest won the championship. Can he replicate that in the Premier League and keep them safe? Probably not. But fear not, his strike partner Vitan Berisha has been scoring even more goals. The Albanian has been with Forrest for two seasons, scoring a total of 36 goals. Ok, he's never actually scored a Premier League goal, but bear with the lad, he's only played one game. So that's how Nottingham Forest look on Football Manager in 2022, 
and you can see exactly why they're predicted to finish 19th. But at least they're doing better than Derby County, who are nowhere near the Premier League. Thanks for watching, let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.